I think we can all agree that today's mortgage interest rate on a 30-year fixed at around five and three quarters is simply amazing, right? Hi friends and neighbors, I'm Brett West with the Urban Castle team at McInerney Associates Realtors in Washington, D.C. And today we're talking about the climbing mortgage interest rate. And it's like they say, in life it's either too fast or too slow. It's too hot or it's too cold. It's too much or it's not enough. It may not feel very much like it at the moment, but the current rate for a 30-year fixed conventional loan is really competitive. I mean, perhaps not if we compare it to the historic rates as low as 2.5% that we saw just two years ago, but when we stand back and take a look at the big picture, we gain some perspective. David Howell, resident data guru at McInerney Associates Realtors, recently took a look at the average mortgage interest rate over the past 32 years, and what he found was that the median mortgage interest rate on a 30-year fixed was right around 6%. And the rate has also been as high as 10.5% during that same period of time. Today's rate is a heck of a lot better than 8.5% when I bought my first home in 2000, and it's way better than the going rate in 1980 when McInerney Associates was founded. When I was first licensed in real estate in the year 2007, I had the honor of being at lunch with the late, great John McInerney. At that lunch, one of the stories John shared with me was that when he threw the doors open to McInerney Associates in 1980, interest rates soared to 18%. 18! John told me that the news headlines read, real estate is dead, suggesting that no one could sell their home because no one could buy due to the cost of borrowing money. In typical John McInerney form, he complimented the reporters on their attention-grabbing headlines and then went about dispelling myths and shedding light on the situation. We realtors share a responsibility to educate consumers of real estate. Remember, there are no sellers without buyers. There are no buyers without sellers. So what are we to do when, in the span of two months' time, an increased rate forces the amortized cost for DC's median price home of $660,000 to increase by $795 a month and $287,000 over the life of the loan. Reduce the price by $287,000? Think again. In a conversation I had this week with Cindy Small at Prime Lending, she explained to me that it is far more effective for buyer and seller to negotiate buying down the rate than to reduce the price. Reducing the price has an adverse effect on the overall market value of entire neighborhoods, something even the most avid bargain hunters should avoid if they wish to retain increased value on their home. How does one buy down the rate and how much does it cost? That's a great question and thank you for asking. An excellent article published by The Mortgage Report and written by my wise friend Michelle Lerner breaks it down with the following example. Take a $400,000 mortgage at three and a quarter percent. One discount point costs $4,000 and lowers the rate by a quarter percent. That point buys down the rate from 3.25% to 3%. The total savings over the life of the loan is just under $20,000. I've included a link to the article below. But you can see by this one example how spending a little money can save a whole lot more money over time. Ultimately, the driving force behind the housing market is not a rate or a recession, but individual personal circumstances. They may include relocating, a job loss or a job gain, marriage, being an empty nester, and the examples go on and on. So if buying or selling real estate is among your goals, don't let the change in the wind affect your direction. The main deciding factor in whether you buy or sell a home should be rooted in what makes best sense for you and how to go about it in a no-nonsense manner with the tools and strategies that help you succeed. 
As always, the mission of our practice at the Urban Castle team is to bring you valuable information so you can make decisions that make best sense for your situation. If information is power, and I think we can all agree it is, let's make you the most powerful consumer of real estate on the market in order to outcompete your competition. What's your next move? Do you know anyone looking to enter the market? What sort of real estate questions are on your mind? Go ahead and leave us the questions in the comment section below. Or better yet, reach us today for a conversation about how we can help you. Until next time, take care.